Me says, I often run into challenges with SharePoint, like unexpected errors or features not working as expected. It's crucial to have access to reliable support and troubleshooting resources. Where can I find comprehensive guides or forums for troubleshooting SharePoint issues? Tech community, just at yeah. least start there. Learn.microsoft.com. That too, Agreed. learning, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, but re reporting problems, you know, there's like providing feedback. Microsoft got their feedback channels. Um, yeah. and, and if there's so many things that are retiring and swapping too, so you might need to do a bit of research around, you know, they go, I'm still using the stream classic web part and I'm having problems. It's like, well, it, it's actually re retired now. So um, it's not going to be updated or fixed. There are other things too that come into play. I, I too would put, Microsoft Tech Community is the number one place to go and ask mm -hmm. questions. In fact, there's uh, it's something that we do for this series is we look through some of the unanswered questions on Microsoft Tech Community. But that's a great place where you can go and do, do the research, see if people have already asked your question, uh, but then post if you're not finding an answer, post a question. Because I think that's where the Microsoft personnel are going to be most most active. But and somebody else put on here, I think it was uh, Sharon commented like Twitter. Yeah. So, uh, you yeah. know, we often talk about the community, the, this, this, that Microsoft 365 community, so much of it, um, so many of us come from the SharePoint side of things, the background, um, that it's, uh, it's often called, you know, the, it's the best community in tech, you know, by the people that are in the community, you know, keeps, seems kind of self-serving, but it's true. Uh, but and there's want... just, there's so many people that are like this community was built around answering questions. So many people that are willing to jump in and help answer questions. So there are Facebook communities, there are discord communities, there's the Microsoft tech communities. There's things that are out on techie gurus. You can ask mm -hmm. there's, if you, if you find a, a thread that's written by an MVP, you know, all of us here are, are MVPs. If you, if we're writing yeah. about something, talking about a, a topic, you can reach out to any one of us. And if we don't know the answer, I bet you we know somebody who does. And and yep. we're usually uh, <laughs> able to uh, point you in the right direction. Unless it doesn't get mentioned, GitHub. Mm. And there's GitHub. Yeah. 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 Uh, and not only that, but the feedback portal, go to the feedback portal .com. Do you know, mm -hmm. it might be something that's not actually available that you're potentially trying to do or there's issues. Go and search it and see if it's something that seems to be a consistent um, issue or problem, because in the feedback portal, people are putting all sorts of things in the feedback portal. So is it a common thing um, or is it just for you? So, yeah. Uh, do, do, do your research, though. I mean, because if, if you're getting an error message, enter the error message out there. I mean, if there's something that's going on with the network, if there was just a, you know, a push or uh, some kind of release and everybody's being impacted by something, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of things that could be going on. Uh, you know, like we're, it's not SharePoint per se, but with like Teams is a great example of, if I go in in the morning and Teams isn't behaving, my first thought isn't, oh, what did I do wrong? My first thought is, what change did Microsoft put, put out? Because I've done nothing different. <laughs> yeah. um, so, but that's go and do your research, search and see what other people have posted. Um, yeah. Try your best to define what you're experiencing. I'd also say, what browser are you using? Because the behavior and the nature of um, a lot of the <laughs> online tools really changes depending on the browser that you're using. I've had it where it's not worked on, you know, I might have been for whatever reason and organizations have got um, Chrome and it's doing something quite different than if I was on Edge and it was mm -hmm. working fine on Edge, but it was not working on Chrome. So um, just have a play around and, and see if you've got an alternative, just give it a try, um, remove a part, re-add a part, refresh a page, you know, all those, you know, I gather that they're doing those kind of steps, but you know, you yeah. never know. It's, uh, it's, it's completely, you know, ironic you say that because Edge is Chrome. <laughs> um, but Which yeah, is why Microsoft you can use Firefox, isn't. Andy. It's yeah. Microsoft's version of Chrome. Uh, I'm using yeah, but... the Brave browser on Linux. Yeah, well, <laughs> Safari. Yeah. I've seen people using that Safari. That would be another and, one that would likely be uncom uncompatible. Which yeah. is, it's it's funny because a, a lot of the Microsoft meetings that I've dealt with 
Oh, for the last couple of weeks now, they've got a broken situation um, where if you need to log into a Teams meeting with a an MSA account and not a uh, a Microsoft work or school type account, uh, you generally get this little, little URL in your in, in an email. Hey, we're having this meeting. Click this. So you click this, and uh, and and you decide you want to use a browser. Um, if it's either Chrome or Edge, currently what it does is it tries to launch V2 of uh, of Teams, hmm. which if you have to log in with a an MSA account, which being MVPs, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it blows up. It leaves you this page that says, you know, here's your name. You want to leave your move this on, you leave that on, whatever. But the point of it is, is, is you wind up as a guest and you may or may not get in as a guest if they're expecting somebody who is supposed to have access. And, uh, and, and you've got a little login link. And if you try to hit the, the sign in link, it just blows. It's, it, it's really bizarre. I've done a, a nice little thing for them on that, but they've acknowledged it's an issue. The point of it is, along very circumspect methodology, <laughs> as I've got Firefox here, it doesn't have the compatibility issue. It loads up the old, instead of V2, the characteristics you look for is an underscore and a pound sign as the first part of the URL, teams mm -hmm. slash underscore pound stein or slash V2 slash. Uh, and and I, that that fixes the URL, which I can then grab and go post, go 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 pay, put it either Chrome or Edge, and it works perfectly. It's just Is, very circumspect. With, but my goodness, you need to have more than one browser. Doesn't anybody use Opera? I mean, come on now. <laughs> I used to. <laughs> la, 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 la. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, uh, but the the other part of the question, though, uh, around the documentation, the guides, um, like I, I don't even know where to go to look for that stuff now, other than it's just out on the support site. Um, but but again, if you're if you everything's you been moved to, to learn, everybody's mm -hmm. everything's is been everything moved to learn. learn now? It is. Yeah. 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 So I mean, every everything's out there. Um, and again, with uh, I mean, I've been playing with more and more with the now the copilot in Edge, uh, and getting more comprehensive answers. So you even get answers back to some technical questions. It points to the resource documents, and so right there you can click into those docs. So as part of your troubleshooting, it's getting better. So the the search experience is improving. I don't know if you guys have been playing with that yet in the browser, but uh, I am liking it. I'm liking it in the in the Microsoft 365 apps. I've been playing with it in Outlook today, and I like it. <laughs> yeah. I'm loving the. Um, uh, I saw it go up recently. I was chatting about it in Stream, where you got the transcript. It's like summarize the transcript so that you can actually have a little. Yeah blurb around your video as to what it is. It's like, oh, I'm liking that one. So go pilot. Yeah. Anyway, totally off topic. Yep. <laughs> See what That's happens, right. you know, where it's so pervasive, this co-pilot conversation slipping into honest product questions. Mm -hmm.